Hello everybody, today I want to show the make home make ricotta. I got over here four cup all milk and I got two cup heavy cream. I got two tablespoon vinegar and one tablespoon lemon. Now we go on the stove, I got the pots right over there. And let's put the gas on. You need for this, for the ricotta, you need the heavy pots. This is really heavy, the pots, it's really good. Now, I put the, the milk. Okay, let me get the heavy cream. And I gotta bring the vinegar and the lemon. You need a little spoon to turn the milk like this once in a while. Now, when you start to boil the milk, do not boil it too hard, it really, really bubble. When you start the bubble, we gotta put the vinegar and the lemon. And I need a little pinch of salt, like this, not too much, so you want the salt. So you know one, no use. Okay. Okay, now, now this we gotta wait when it start the boil. When it start the boil, we use the vinegar and the lamb. Okay, once in a while, make sure the turn. Okay, you know one of the stick and a bottle of the pots. It's why you need the good pots, okay, in no stick. Because you use some pots really thin, the milk is stick, okay? Okay, now you see it started to bubble a little bit, but don't leave it boil too much, only a little bit. Now what I do, I pour really, really low. And now we put the vinegar. And I put the vinegar like this a little bit at a time. And make sure to turn all the time, okay? Turn, turn. You see, you gotta have time to not rush too much. Okay, and we see now and that this is the vinegar I was used. Now I turn the gas off. And we got you see, look at that. Look, you see what it look like? Okay, it does not leave a boil. And now we use the lemon. Okay. We leave it stay like this. And once in a while, you gotta turn, and this you gotta stay, you gotta firm, everybody know look like, like a cheese, like a ricotta. Okay, we was a pour the lemon and the vinegar. Now, we pour out, and we keep over here, do not stay on the heat no more. And we leave it turn a little bit, not turn too fast, slow, like this. You see, look, look nice already. Okay. All right. Now we leave it stay like this for a little bit. Okay, now we go on the table and we put it right over here. Now, make sure the cloth to be wet, okay? The not leave it dry, okay? No, when it's wet, the water, it go more easy done. Now, the milk left against, I say water, but it's the milk, you can use it for something else, okay? All right, now, when you do, do with this, not dump everything at one time, okay? after you not drain right the ricotta. And you do a little bit at a time. Look how beautiful it look. Huh? And you pour it right over here like this. The drain. Now, it's a, you, what kind you like? So you like really thick, thick and hard, 
or you like not too hard like this, you can use on bread, the crostini, everything. But if you want to use it for lasagna, it got to be more hard. But this I want to use for crostini. It look a beautiful look already. Okay? And when you pour, pour on slow, no rush too much. Okay, you gotta be nice, okay, you gotta do the milky go down the water, nice and slow, do no rush. It look really good. I'm surprised about myself for the camera like this. I remember my mother and my father when he was doing he was doing in a, in a fire place. Put the big pots and he was to do the ricotta. He was to do the cheese, everything. But look a nice look. Really, really good. Now this is the last. I want to pour like this. A little bit on a time. Hmm. Really good. All right. It looks so nice. Now this, you gotta stay like this at least for one hour. After we see, and we take it out for over here and we put in some dish or something. Like I said, I don't want hard. I want a little soft, really nice, fresh ricotta. Okay? It look really, really good. Okay, now we take out the ricotta. It was to stay one hour. One hour. Okay? And we take out this. And we put it right over here on this dish over here. It look a beautiful look. Oh, it's really, really nice. Look at that. Okay, come out really good clean. And now I want to test. It come out really, really good. It's really good. Still, it's a little warm a little bit, but it tastes delicious. I hope somebody makes this gets really, really good. Thank you.